Hey guys, it's Hobbs, Stan, Stan Bruno, guys, another V15 training tip, and it's going to be investing in squad fitness cards. Before I get into the video, if my voice sounds a little bit different, I do apologise. just have a sore throat and also the fever, so I've been quite ill today. So it's quite hard for me to commentate on this video, so if you guys could drop a thumbs up for the dedication, um, I would appreciate that, because I'm trying to get at least a one upload out a day for you guys. I mean, if I wasn't ill today, I probably would have done a double upload, but hey, you can't do anything about it, about it, it just happens. So this is such an easy method to do. So what you need to do is you need to invest in gold squad fitness cards. And the great thing is you don't really need too much coin to do this. Like 5k, even like 3k or something like that would do. And the great thing about doing it at this time of the year is that most people won't really have too many coins. And that means they won't have like two squads. Because normally most people have like two squads, one for fitness and one for playing. But because that we're at the start of FIFA right now, a lot of people won't have too many coins because they won't have been on the web app. So, you know, you know, it's a perfect opportunity because they'll be forced to buy squad fitness cards to put fitness on their team. So that's why the price of squad fitness cards will rise up a lot at the start of FIFA. It always happens every single year. I would recommend staying with gold squad fitness cards. You can also do silver if you'd like, but I would recommend um, stick with gold. Because gold always is obviously is going to go up the most, like probably about 2k plus, I would say. That's what happened last year. So if I was you, you know, even if you have like 5k, because you can get it for about 600 coins, 700 coins. And that basically means you can buy quite a few squad fitness cards, which means you're going to make a lot of profit. I would recommend selling them on probably this Saturday, not on the Friday. I'll probably say on the Saturday. If they don't rise on the Saturday, then wait till the Sunday. Pretty much wait till they rise, because I guarantee they will rise. I'm not sure how long it will take. I think it will be pretty instant, but we'll just have to see how P15 works this year. Because it can be a lot different to last year, so we'll just see how it goes. So to summarise, basically just buy loads of gold squad fitness cards and sell them on in a few weeks time. Probably this week, I would say. Um, I would say if you have a low coin amount though, stick with bronze squad fitness cards. Because bronze squad fitness cards are obviously going for the cheapest at the moment. And they, they will still go for 1k+. plus. They will still go for 1k+. plus. But I would only recommend that if you have like 1k, 2k. And I kind of predict that most people have more than that at this time of the web app. I mean, most people have started trading and getting profit. And I'll say that most people have on average about 5k. But if you're one of those people who've got a low coin amount, stick to Bronze Squad Fitness cards. So that's your best bet. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please drop a thumbs up um, for the dedication. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.